Welcome back to the Sportsman Zone. We start with football and news breaking earlier on Friday. The Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, announced via a press release that the contract of senior women's head coach Lauren Donaldson will not be renewed. Donaldson's contract expires on Saturday, September 30. The JFF says the decision was mutual. The Jamaica Football Federation and coach Lauren Donaldson had a meeting to discuss his contract as the senior women's team coach, which comes to an end on September 30, 2023. After an extended discussion, both parties came to an agreement that the contract would not be renewed. After being appointed in June 2022, Donaldson led the Reggae Girls to their second consecutive World Cup where he marshaled the team to the knockout phase of the competition. The release from the JFF goes on to say a plan will be in place to facilitate the Reggae Girls qualification for the inaugural Women's Gold Cup. The JFF is cognizant that the Reggae Girls will be involved in CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup qualifying in less than a month. We will immediately put the machinery in place to have competent staff in place for this important competition. Of course, as we should, and of course we have trying to get in touch with Lauren Donaldson or um, an executive of the Jamaica Football Federation, but no luck so far this afternoon. But Mariah and Lance, this matter must be discussed. Of course, it has come up on this show in the past week as we build up to the um, Olympic qualifying tie against Canada. And uh, here we are with confirmation coming from the Jamaica Football Federation that Lauren Donaldson will no longer be the women's team head coach. Yeah, and it's news, Ricardo, as you said. We uh, discussed when we were getting ready for these matches against Canada. For me, I will say I was... I'm not surprised. I am disappointed, but I'm not surprised. And I'm not surprised because of how the events led up to this. As I said before, he has been speaking out. He spoke about some of the things that he wished would have been done differently. And the moment I saw those articles coming to light before the matches, I felt as if something did not sit very well. Something was brewing. And I guess this is where the news has come to hand. Now, Lauren Donaldson is a coach I've had the opportunity to interact with with you know going to the reggae girls matches i've listened to some of the girls sound bites you know about his relationship with the team and i felt that personally he has been on the right track it's unfortunate that the girls has not gotten the results that we want and when we think about results we want to see wins that's all the fans care about and the people that support the team however we have to remember when you get a new team it takes time to create a winning culture it takes consistency and coach has always spoken about the fact that the girls didn't get the practice matches that they wanted they didn't get the opportunities that he would want for camps and all these different things so i always have an issue when the coach is the first one to go without people considering there are so many different things that happen behind the scenes so one, I'm disappointed that he has to go, but two, I'm also happy that he spoke out just to give us an insight into some of the things that he would have wanted before he left. Mm. Well, it's obvious that there are a lot of things going on that we don't know the details of, but it is clear that there was a strained relationship between Lon Donaldson and the members of the Jamaica football executive. And um, I would suspect that that has led to this position that we are now in, where his contract is not being renewed because Lauren Donaldson, as you said, Mariah, has been outspoken about things that he think or he thought weren't going in the right direction. And usually administrators don't like their employees uh, speaking, you know, with that, with that kind of narrative. But uh, it's, it's hugely disappointing because it is clear to me that this is not a, a, a footballing decision because his performance has co as coach has been exemplary. In fact, the performance of the reggae girls at the World Cup in Australia and New Zealand could easily be ranked as the greatest ever achievement that any football team out of Jamaica has, has achieved. And um, um, given the fact that football is such a, 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 a competitive global event, um, a Jamaica team going to the World Cup and getting to the round of 16 is, is a tremendous success. And uh, even though there was huge disappointment that they lost to Colombia and didn't make it into the quarterfinals, uh, I don't think anyone could 
honestly say that the coaching staff and the performance of the reggae girls at the World Cup was anything short of outstanding and beyond expectations. So it is very harsh for the public, I think, to accept months after that kind of performance that the coach goes and we are getting a release that says it was an agreement after the two, yeah. the two met regarding the continuing continuation of his contract. Um, unfortunately, as Ricardo said, we haven't been able to uh, get Lauren Donaldson. We have tried repeatedly to get him. He, we're not getting through to him and we're not getting any comments from the JFF as well outside of the press release that we got. But it is hugely disappointing to me that uh, a major story like this comes up and we are not getting an immediate um, opportunity to talk to the principals and hear exactly what happened. Because as we said, on the, on the face of it, Lon Donaldson has been a hugely successful coach. So yeah. if his contract isn't renewed, it just sounds like a non-footballing decision. Yeah, I completely agree with you, Lance, about it being a non-footballing decision. You spoke about the World Cup campaign. Let's also not forget that in June 2022, when Lon Donaldson took over this team, it was at a point when we were weeks away from World Cup qualifying. Um, remember that Vin Blaine had been removed as the head coach after complaints came from the players um, and Lauren Donaldson stepped in. That was a critical time for Jamaica's women's football and Lauren Donaldson was able to guide the team through that period and get the team to qualify for the World Cup. Then the historic qualification to the round of 16 at the World Cup and following that two of the best performances we have ever seen for a Jamaican women's team against Canada. Canada, reigning Olympic champions, top-ranked team in the world of women's football, and Jamaica, 2-0, losing to them in Kingston, and then 2-1 in Toronto. Although they ended in defeats, those were two outstanding performances from the reggae girls. And, and I don't know if realistically and honestly, Anyone could say that there was a genuine expectation that the reggae girls would have beaten Canada in those Olympic qualifying matches. So when you put the performances together, it is clear that the, the non-renewal of the contract for coach Lauren Donaldson, it is very clear that it has nothing to do with football and it has, in my opinion, everything to do with the relationship um, between Donaldson and the Jamaica Football Federation. Now, here's the thing, Lance and Mariah. We have seen this release from the Jamaica Football Federation. And in this release, the Jamaica Football Federation has said that both parties came to an agreement um, to, to not renew the contract. There are so many questions, though, because you want to know in the lengthy discussions that the Jamaica Football Federation spoke about in the press release, what were those discussions about? Well, I would love to hear what the Jamaica Football Federation had to say to Lauren Donaldson. Did they say to Lauren Donaldson, Lauren, you have done a fantastic job with this team. We see the direction that this team is going. We think it's the right direction and we want you to stay on. Was that the, the, the type of discussions that were being had in that meeting? Or was it a case of we didn't like A, B, C, we didn't like these things that happened in the summer, we didn't like all these off-the-field issues? Um, so I have to wonder, because as far as I'm concerned, I would like to think that based on everything that he's achieved, Lauren Donaldson would have wanted to stay on as national team head coach. And if Lauren Donaldson wanted to stay on as national team head coach, then what would the Jamaica Football Federation have said to this man that would have led him to the conclusion to side with the JFF and say, well, it's best with part ways. And that's the part of the meeting that I want to hear about Mr. Dennis Chung, Mr. Michael Ricketts, the JFF president, if indeed he was even in the meeting, Mr. Michael Ricketts, or whoever was in the meeting, or from the man himself, Lauren Donaldson. One of the things you said is you would like to know the contents of the meeting. Mm -hmm. The first thing I would ask is how long was this lengthy meeting? I want to know if it was an ongoing number of meetings. Was it just, hey, welcome to my office. Let's have this, you know, we're done. Five minutes, 10 minutes. 
So I would want to start by asking the duration of the meeting. Another thing I wanted to add is that I have an issue with this culture of sacking coaches before competitions. I have an issue with that because we have to remember, Vin Blaine was sacked, we were getting ready for a competition. Now, Lorne Donaldson is sacked, we're getting ready for Gold Cup. I think the only people that suffer because of this, and remember, when the fans judge these players on their performances, they don't ever take into consideration that these ladies are now entering a new football culture. They have new rules, new coaching strategy, new tactics. Nobody ever talks about that. They just talk about how bad the team did because, well, they're looking at the results. I think football suffers and the players suffer when we make rash decisions like this. Mm. The point has to be made, though, that when Vin Blaine was replaced by Lauren Donaldson, um, Vin Blaine had been undefeated with the team and it was the girls that had a problem with him. Yes. So that is how Lauren Donaldson became the coach. So the circumstances of Vin Blaine ending as a coach to Lauren Donaldson ending as a coach appear to be vastly different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very much the case, Lance. Very much the case. The only similarity is that both were successful and, and both have lost their jobs. And I agree with Mariah so here, So maybe though. if you lost, you'd keep your job. Yeah, I, I agree with Mariah here, though, because I think we, we can't continue in a situation where you are sacking coaches weeks and months ahead of important tournaments. The CONCACAF Gold Cup qualifying um, tournament is, is, is a highly important event. You, 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 it's weeks away. You cannot begin to imagine, Lance and Mariah, how it would feel as if we have taken 10 steps back if the reggae girls, having done what they did at the Women's World Cup, ended up not qualifying for the CONCACAF Gold Cup next year. And don't forget, they are in a tough group with Panama. Yes, we beat Panama. The, the, the reggae girls beat Panama at the World Cup. Guatemala is in that group as well. Guatemala has recently defeated Panama. So you would suspect those matches will not be easy and they're a matter of weeks away. I just think that maybe, maybe the Jamaica Football Federation should have considered keeping Lauren Donaldson on even for another month or two to get those matches out of the way in Gold Cup qualifying and then make a decision beyond that. But, but again, but if we are right, and this decision was less about football and more about other matters, then I guess I understand why the no, rush. But Ricardo, we just have to take into consideration, they did say it was a mutual agreement from the press release. Yes, but at what point? At know, what point did it become mutual? But that, I just that's the want question to I'm say, asking. Yeah, so maybe coach and i'm just saying because we don't know we're trying to get on to the people that will make us yes. know maybe coach got so fed up of asking for the things that he wanted and he felt as if there was no solution but that know? would mean mariah that the conversation started on the wrong tone and then went down the wrong line from there because if you if on the part of the jff you start the conversation on the right line then i don't think you end up there yeah, there, there's, there's actually a report going around at the moment in the last few minutes suggesting that Lauren Donaldson has refuted the report, the JFF report, that mm. it was a mutual decision. Oh? That it was a mutual decision so or that it was no. a lengthy discussion? <laughs> I'm, I'm just seeing that it wasn't mutual from, from, from what do, do, Lauren check. Donaldson is saying. This is yes. unconfirmed, but it is something going around now that Lauren Donaldson has said, has refuted the the narrative that it was a mutual agreement. And oh. as I'm suggesting to you, Lance and Mariah, <laughs> maybe at some point it was mutual. But if I'm Because he gave up. If I'm in a meeting with you, Lance, and I'm saying I think this is the direction, and you're saying something completely different, there's going to come a point where one of us will say, you know what, let's agree to disagree. Yeah. If, you, if you agree to disagree, is that mutual? Or are you just frustrated and can't be bothered anymore yeah. so you're moving on with your life? I think Lauren Donaldson wanted to stay on as Reggae Girls head coach. And everything we have about this discussion must have that 
as the starting point that Lauren Donaldson wanted to stay yeah. on as, to, as, to, as on, national on, women's on a, coach. On a point of accuracy, though, the word mutual wasn't used in the press release, was no. it? No, they say they it both just said agreed. agreement. They both agreed, yeah. Which yeah. means the same thing, it's, but yes. yes. It, it means the same thing. They said. I, I, they I wanna, both I, agreed that not to renew the contract. They both agreed, reached an agreement. Yes, which mm. again, yeah. before you reached that agreement, yeah. you had discussions according yeah. to the GFF. It's lengthy. lengthy. Yeah. I can't wait to hear how long this lengthy discussion was. Yes. Um, but yes, I also want to know what the GFF was saying to Lauren that would have him move from a mm. position of, mm. I would like to remain as national team head coach to... Well, you know what? Maybe you're right. Let's go our separate ways. Mm. Well, Lauren Donaldson, we're trying to call you. We'd mm. love to have you on the Sports yeah. Max Zone. We want to hear we, about that discussion. Yeah, we, we've also got some reports that the meeting lasted only five minutes, <laughs> which, I, which I'm seeing here coming through. Um, Lance has un, some sources. Un, 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 unconfirmed, but <laughs> that is what we're hearing. All right. But well, we, we have to hear from Lauren Donaldson yeah. because something isn't right time. here. As I said at the top of the show, I'm sure Lauren John Donaldson wanted to continue in the job. And yeah. we want to talk to him, but yeah. we have to go, Ricardo. Yeah, the <laughs> only thing I will say, um, Lauren, we have a new beautiful set here on Ocean Boulevard. It it's seats cool, four. it's nice, it's beautiful. <laughs> it seats four or five. You can bring a member of the Jamaica Football Federation with you. Let's, Let's talk. sit down and have a chat on Monday.